Hello, dear one. I'm standing under another sacred juniper tree in the shade of the afternoon sun. And I had something I just, something empowering to talk about briefly. It's about co creation of reality and holograms and cause and effect and synchronistic uh, reality. Uh, the thing of it is, I'm discovering I have my hologram. It's my personal hologram and my ascension guides and all of the higher spirits are all helping me to create um, New Earth in, through my imagination, through my visualization, and through my hologram. Now, this hologram of mine is susceptible to, to, to mental thought which is a cause and effect kind of a way of thinking, linear thinking. So when the, my neural net starts in with some fear-based reality, which is very far from true reality, my hologram can um, reflect that kind of, 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 of fear-based feeling, you know. But it, it's completely up to me. What I want in my hologram is kind of up to me. You know, depending on the state of my heart and my emotion. So if I find myself, as I did today, with some kind of fear-based feeling, all I really have to do is say to myself that, that I'll, I want to change and transform my hologram, my personal hologram. I don't have to think of it in terms of affecting anyone else. Because all the holograms of all the human beings are synchronistic, not really cause and effect. They can be viewed as cause and effect, but they're in a higher sense synchronistic. So the holograms of every other person in theoretically involved in my reality are unaffected by my personal transformation of my hologram. They may adjust in some way because of their own co-creative ability. You know. So, so basically all I really have to do is, is is visualize and imagine a higher reality, one based on love. And then my own personal scenery, which in this case is quite beautiful. Let's see. Right? Beautiful. And my, my mental imaginings become more in sync with the true reality, which is light and love, peace wisdom and all of that, right? So, <laughs> I don't want to get on the train of my mind and start into some distant territory that's far from true and think that other people have some influence over me, which they do not. You know, people think that they're at the effect of me and that I'm at the effect of them. They feel a cause and effect relationship, but this is not true thinking. True thinking is my relationship to the divine through my heart. And, and that kind of thinking uh, doesn't like drag other people along with it and, and it and I'm not dragged along with other people either, you know. <laughs> I myself am true source and it's, it's okay to be like that. It's a hard thing cutting cords and, and realizing that we're not a, like a group of people where we're not, it, it, we might find ourselves with a group, but we're not really that group. We're really in relationship in this hologram with Source or with the Divine. So that group thing, that feeling of, of togetherness with the group, is like a very small <laughs> version of being one with the All and with Source. It's, it's like when you buy, when, you're, when your folks buy, when you're very small and your folks buy you your first bicycle and it has those trainer wheels on it, right? Those little trainer wheels to help you get, get your balance and figure out what's going on. So right now, that's what's really happening. It's, we have our trainer wheels, which are the groups that we belong to and our family and all that. But the true, like, bike ride is relating to all that is the infinite. Okay, so that's really all I have to say, and, but I want to try and show you a picture of a train of clouds, which seems to me a better 
um, a better thing to envision than a train of thought. Here it is, the train of thought. Going who knows where. Where's the beginning? Where's the end? It's hitting in this direction, but I don't know where it's going to end up. The train of clouds.